so we have seen semantic tags in we have seen semantic tags in last session right what are the semantic tags can you tell me <clears throat> What do you mean by semantic tags? HTML semantic tags. What do you mean by HTML5 semantic tags? HTML5 semantic tags. Hello, am I audible? So, in the HTML5, other than semantic tags, there are many things. Multimedia support, canvas, form enhancements, web storage, geolocation, web workers, responsive web design. So, this part we are going to see in the CSS related thing and these things <coughs> these things are a part of the JS right multimedia these things are part of the JS but, but as far as HTML5 is concerned these are few basic features multimedia support means audio video files can be played in your html file you can draw something you can draw on the raw canvas <coughs> form data related things have been changed web storage little database is there in your browser geolocation sometimes you might have observed your browser is asking for your current location from where by means of geolocation API. Web workers kind of threading. It's multiple pieces are working. Multiple pieces are working in your browser. That is nothing but the web workers and the CSS3 responsive web design. That part we would be covering in the CSS. But whenever we will start the JS, I will come back to these pointers again. But in the last session, we have talked about semantic HTML tags. Okay, let's start with CSS3 Flexbox. Let's start with what? CSS3 Flexbox. So, it was necessary to cover some semantic tags before moving ahead to that. I hope you have worked on the positions, floats. And under the layout, we would be starting with Flexbox. So today, we will start with the Flexbox. Just a minute. So, what do you mean by flexbox? CSS3 flexbox. How many of you have used? How many of you are knowing about this thing? CSS3 flexbox. No, no, okay. okay. Anyone else? Okay. So when you talk about the CSS3 flex box, as you see, this is the feature of CSS3. This is the feature of what CSS3. <clears throat> so, 
let me okay we already have created date 20 new index 0 dot index 0 1 dot html and here i can say app 0 1 dot css index html5 and flex basics flex what B basics and let's import link rel css app01 dot css app01 dot css now what i wanted to do let me open the whiteboard just a minute we have whiteboard right okay so this is the whiteboard we have and what we need same thing we need to implement actually let's go from a simple thing first so you can say this is my container this is my container and left hand side of the container would contain the menu menu items like this and here your actual content would be there here so this is your actual content and this is nothing but what the menu is this is the menu okay left hand side we would be having menu and here we need to add the content which means that if you see this if you have this complete div this complete div this much section belongs to menu and this much section belongs to a content now you have worked with the css you tell me how do you implement this design i hope you guys are working on your git repositories my question is that how do you divide this two things hello Divs. Divs, okay. Yeah. We can have multiple divs like nested divs. Nested divs, okay. CSS. I'm ask. I'm interested in CSS. Like uh, the divs, and we can have like float, floating to the back. But how do you, okay, float left you are saying, by means of the float. Right, but if you remember, at the time of float we have studied that, float is not that appropriate whenever you think in the terms of multiple screens. Mobile screen, tablet screen, laptop screen. Or nowadays TV screen we are opening websites on the TV screen as well so how to achieve this part so we can use div one div right then for a left we can have one more one we can say this is a left menu 
and this this div is main content this is the left menu this is main content this is the left menu this is main content right but with this also we can work or as we have studied we can use semantic tags a meaning there is a more meaning to the main instead of writing div here instead of writing here instead of writing this div we can write aside and instead of this we can write section particular section section contains main menu this will not have any impact right now <clears throat> it will not have any impact right now main concern is that how do you make this division only this much here you can say this is a 20 percent and here you can say this is remaining 80 percent 80 percent to the main content 20 percent to the left menu 20% to the left menu, 80% to this thing. How do you do that exactly? So you will say that, okay, let's try to assign to this main, you can assign a class a dot container. We can create a class called as container. Width, before this, we can do body html body width 100 <coughs> vw height height 100 vh vw and vh are also older units now now this is the main i can say a class let me select this class container okay and width of the container is a hundred percent and height here you can say 80 percent and let me give background background color beige so let's go here and reveal in finder okay here it has opened <clears throat> can you see the background color has been applied background color has been applied right this is the container we have written but still these are coming one below other left menu and main content left menu and main content so this also we can say dot left menu we have created something called as dot left menu and if you say width 20 percent height 100 percent background color cadet blue we can say and class left menu here we can apply class content dot content and to the content 80% and height is 100% background color chocolate refresh it can you see here they are coming one below other and if you see this beige color is the actual width actual height sorry 80% is the height of if you can see 80% is the height of your main container right 
So this container 80% and this is the color and this color is nothing but this. But we are not achieving, we have not achieved this layout. Then you might say just do float left, right? In a container, float left and go here. See? There are some. So, sorry, here you can say float left. And what what float you are going to give it to this, right? Or what? See, float left and float float right. Twenty percent left menu, eighty percent. Sorry, twenty percent left menu, eighty percent main content. But this is not appropriate. In case of well, this float right is redundant. You don't need it actually. If you just make float left, see what will happen. When you remove the float thing, width 80% and height 100%. 80% of what? That is the concern. And that's why you need a float right over here. And it will occupy full thing. Correct. But this is the older way that we already have studied. I am commenting this, commenting this for your purpose. Now, you got it, right? Hello? You understand what we are trying to achieve. This we are trying to achieve. So, this is your cadet blue. This is the chocolate color. Well, this is the container. Container is having some color width 100%, height 80%, deliberately I have given 80% so that here you will get to know main container is still this only, this color is of the main container. This is the left menu, this is your main content. Now how to achieve this? This can be achieved by means of display property, display and flex display di flex direction flex direction row default direction is row now refresh it and see automatically display flex what do you mean by flex unidirectional layout all the elements are either arranged in the form of row presently row natural ordering is column if you don't give any display naturally one below other they would be getting created but what i want to do i want to change the natural ordering to the row or column refresh it can you see column now if you remember if you have seen the earlier code this chocolate was flowing out of the container but if you see presently the chocolate is inside the container left menu is also inside the container column what we have seen what we have given Flex direction, there are two main directions, either content is flowing along the row, row means this main axis becomes row and cross axis becomes column, cross axis becomes what, column. So presently what is the main axis? column is the main axis because main direction so you are saying that elements will flow top to bottom when you say flex direction is row element will flow left to right element will flow left to right flex direction row 
and refresh it left to first there is a left menu this element then there is what then there is a main content flex direction do you understand this or not flex direction if you have any questions go ahead and ask me so when you say flex a unidirectional layout you you are saying display flex what you are doing you are saying well i would be having a one dimensional layout one dimensional means what at a time your elements will flow along with the row or column your elements will flow along with the row or they will flow along with the column do you understand this or not okay is it clear what do you mean by display flex and what do you mean by flex direction row and column well this is the redundant you write it or you don't write it default direction is what row and that's why there won't be any impact so default is row right but if i have to insert flex if you need that in a like column manner you might need to do column yeah at that case you need to write column if you need elements to be flowing along the vertical axis there are two axis horizontal axis this one we call it as row and the vertical axis so in in the official documentation they call this axis so whatever axis you so here you have selected column as a main axis so if display direction display direction is column so this vertical axis is called as main axis if that is a column and this horizontal axis is called as cross axis right if you say row over here main axis is horizontal axis this is what main axis if display direction is row horizontal axis is main axis vertical axis is what cross axis it depends on what value you set if row row becomes main axis column becomes cross axis if you write column column becomes vertical axis becomes main axis and row becomes cross axis right well there are two more actually column reverse row reverse we will see that shortly but if you want to give it as a row you don't need to write explicitly like this display flex by default it is what flex direction is row got it hello yes sir okay now what happens let me create new file index 02.html <coughs> app 02.css html file and flex layout 02 and link rel css app 02.css okay the way we have written this thing over here <coughs> let's write it here
and then then okay then let's have a main tag and let's have dot box width 300 pixel height 200 pixel background color chatted blue and here I can say div class box 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 let you go here and 02.css you can see three boxes are there actually but they are falling one below other that's why it is happening like this box 300 pixel and like this and here I can say dot me or you can say main element selector let's use it width 100% height 80% and background color bisque can you see this much is the main con main container and element and content is flowing outside outside of the container 300 px 200 px so let's reduce it actually 200 px and 80 pixel okay now let's give this guy as a display flex refresh it can you see one after other they have shifted now flexbox says that i can work on the content also i can work on what this content also this is the content we have actually these are the five divs there is no margin and that's why it is looking like this and here now say display says that justify content see here justify content okay let's give a margin left margin left say 8 pixels can you see little gap we have added these are the five divs we have now what we can say justify content we can operate on these elements also we can manage the content of the flex as well this is the flex this main is the flex we can manage the content of this flex also so first thing we can say justify or sorry center refresh it can you see all the things would be moved to the center automatically similarly this property can be start sorry start can you see start it will go to the start end it will go to the end right the content is moved to the center left by default it's a left or you can say start but you can manage it in this way also so aligning the content along the main axis what is the main axis here can you tell me what is the main axis here row so justify content works on the main axis can you see moving the content along the main axis moving the content this is the content along the main axis 
that's the task of justify main can be anything now there are a few more properties justify content so start end center we have seen start end start center end we have seen space around see now around each element little space would be added here some space here some space so this space little space around this little space around this little space around this little space around this in this way space around space between space what between can you see they will start from the very beginning they will start from the beginning and in between some space have been added in between some space have been added well space evenly also there space evenly you can add the space evenly even space here 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 justify content center start in between right center start in and between if you want to move the content along the main axis justify content is there now see align items center see now can you see exactly at the center now aligning this items along with the cross axis aligning these items along with what cross axis what is the cross axis in this case vertical axis is the cross axis so here you can say start start here and Okay, same thing here. I justify content will work on the row axis. Same property. If it goes align, it will work on the like y axis or the top. Correct. Base like top. Right. But see, there is no justify you will find over here. You will not find justify over here. Right. Align items. Justify content. Sorry, you will not find space evenly or something like that because you cannot give it. How, how you are going to make space evenly? On the x axis, sorry, in this case on the main axis that is row, items are placed. Over there you can have justify. Over there you can have what? Justify. You getting my point? Hello? Yes, yes. So align items can be you can write something like this also flex start instead of just start flex start more appropriate and flex end like this will go here. So what is the difference between uh, same 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 you can consider same there is no difference. And here you can say center. Center. Refresh it. Like this. Hello? Now, now, is it clear? Is this clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes. And we have talked about only like display flex, right? Say that again. Um, we are talking about only display flex here and flex related properties like justify content and align items. Correct. We will go with when display properties flex only, right? Yes. 
so whenever you applied clicks then and only then this is possible otherwise not this should be flex and then and only then this thing will work Now, now let's create or before this I would like to give one homework. Homework if this is my complete box you need to create one div over here one div, you need to place div here one div here, one div here, one div here, one div here. You need to create this thing in this way. So you need to align the divs in this way. One at the center. This is the homework. This is the homework. If you have understood the concept, you can do that. Let me know how do you how, how do you implement this? Can you please tell me? Can we can we create three uh... Three what? Three flexes, you are saying. How do we implement? Just imagine and tell me. You can take little time of one, two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Can we go back to four flexes? Yeah. Do not forget. Flex is a one dimensional layout. Now what do you mean by one dimensional? Either you can do in a row or you can do in a column. Like can we, is it possible to create different uh, uh, class? Yeah, you can do that. Right, so in that case, we can do this to go with like three days. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, like the display flex only in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not sure like how to place that in like start and end. We know like we have seen like start and end, but not both in same way. Okay. Uh, I don't so I have to check the properties, but yeah, it will. We can go like there are two options. One is like this to display flex at uh, I, I forgot the thing like uh, for the row direction. I believe we can explicitly call for like column wise or the row. Uh, doesn't try it, so then it will go with the row, but if you want to go with column as well, it will work because we can see two things are on the parallel, like at the start. Correct. And one is at the center. One, so with three days, we can utilize this, but as of now, I'm not sure how to place that at the start and end. So we have seen equidistance, we have seen like center at the start, but not sure how that will work as of now. Okay. Give a time today. Uh -huh. And yep, yep. Well, well practiced. Yes, and then try to implement it. Okay, flex is very important. Flex box. Now here we can have 
index 03.html and index sorry app 03.csl HTML5 flex layout 03 link rel CSS app 03. Dot CSS okay okay before going to this part let us inspect this not lighthouse elements and can you see layout over here see here it shows complete flex layout can you see here it shows the flex it shows what flex so when you say flex this is one line of the flex this is one line of the flex this is the flex item so here show track sizes show area names extend grid lines so here you can tick and untick and if you see a little overlay on the flex little overlay on the flex if i hover it can you see uh, some overlay is there on the flex so whatever you say that dotted lines mm -hmm. that is the flex and here also you can see the flex right now what i wanted to do what i want to do how do See, I don't see like, okay, uh, like horizontal tiles. No, behind the horizontal tiles, can you see there are the cross lines? Can you see or not? Vertical angles, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Right? So, the, these lines shows the, that that is the flexes. So, there are lines over there. The light. No, I'm just showing you the layout inspector. So if if you want to identify where is the flex in the layout inspector, can you see flex box overlays? Just mm -hmm. click over here. A little shaded portion would be appearing over there. Can you see that? If I click over here, it will disappear, it will appear, it will disappear, right? Show extended track, show number of lines. So these are nothing but these settings. If I untick all these things, yeah, see here. Okay. Well, this is for the grid. So these lines for the, so presently these will not appear. This is for the grid. There is one more display grid is there. So presently we are talking about this, right? This one. This is for the grid. Grid layout is something different. Hello? Yes. So we need to make a display grid. At that time, this comes into the picture. Just remove about, forget about this right now. And the flex box. Main and this one. Okay, so whatever you see behind in violet color, that is the flex, flex container. Yes or no? Yes. In the violet color. Just, just want you to understand. So, whatever content we are placing that in horizontal line, mm -hmm. apart from what is remaining is, is flex. flex. Yes, oh, correct. Okay. Right now, that is the flex. Okay, now, now, case might be like this also, main, I have, there is one section, another section, 
another section. Three sections I am having. Let me add it as it is. Okay. Box also. Box. So class box. Not this. Sorry. Now if you can see this class here we can say container and in this thing I need to have this as a column so this section would be column this section would be column and I will create one more dot row nesting of the flexes dot row and this also display flex width hundred percent height twenty percent twenty percent so this is a class row row and the row let's give background color bisque and here we can say 0 3 can you see three bisques are there if you remove the height it will or you can say height auto okay presently just make it 30 percent can you see these are the rows we can say margin top pixel little gap is there let's make it 20 percent height so rows you have created this is a row this is also flex now inside this row we would be having boxes div class box sorry box here also three boxes here also three boxes see this correct you can place them as you want so here you can say row one I can say row one let's create the static kind of thing row two row two row three row three okay there is no change now here I can say display flex Let's keep flex related properties separate. Okay. So here I can say justify content center refresh it. They will go at the center. Here I can say justify content space around space around and here I can say 
justify content space between space what between okay now can you see they are not at the center in each row they are not at the center you can manage that by means of align items center align item center align items center can you see at the each row it will go to the center at the each row it will go to the center at the each row it will go to the center so one question like uh, if we can we make like instead of looking a follow for one of the things yeah here right instead of yeah, right. display direction yeah, yeah. column we can do that no problem flex we, direction we column have, we, uh, right, so. yeah see here no but is it one or three we, three yeah, these are three these are three but because of the box height it is hampering like yeah. that so, due to box height, we are not able to see properly, right? correct correct because of the box height it is not proper Okay. Now, can you see these are the three rows in a main flex? Three rows in a main flex. Getting my point? This is one flex. This is another flex. Now, if you go to the inspector and if you go here, can you see these are three flexes you will find? This is also flex. This is also flex. This is, a, can you see one flex, flex, flex? They have written over here. There are three flexes. And here what is happening, this is, this is a row, this container itself is a flex, this row is a flex, this row is a flex, this row is a flex, right, flex is containing flex. Now what I want to do, I want to shift these flexes to the start, end and center and for that you have one property over here. Align content. See now, align content and refresh it. Align content start. Or here you can say center. Just a minute. Flex direction column. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, I got it. What's happening? I got it. So in this example, we cannot see that part, whatever related to this align content. Because here I wanted to, what I tried to do, I tried to combine two examples in one thing, but presently because of the architecture, that's not possible, but we can see that. But what I wanted to show you over here, a nesting of the flexes. That is important. And here we have seen how do you nest the flexes. So outside container itself is a flex. Inside that there is a one more container called as row. That is also flex. So that flex is having some different properties. That This flex is having different properties. This flex is having different properties. Hello? Any question? No. This is clear, right? 
so few more things are there related to the fix flex we need one more session or one two more sessions we will see that if you have any question well let me push the code first so you can practice it so you need to complete the homework right and you need to design this page i don't know you see that or not because of the dark mode it is looking like this but because of the dark mode it is looking like this Google yeah google page just just content just alignment so this logo should be here this hover effect i need so design this page at the top there is a nav bar start designing it tomorrow your knowledge would be getting increased but at least you can do basic structure you do, you know now how to take content at the center right all the social media landing pages google facebook instagram you need to design it google facebook instagram login pages this is a good exercise so first try with the google little less alignments and components are there so for every badge i ask to do a landing page of the google you would see start with this one as of now we have given one layout as well right correct yes yeah so fine then we'll call it for a day if you have any question you can ask otherwise we are good to wind up the session yeah thank you